Ladies and gentlemen, this is Handle It, hosted by me this week? Okay, hosted by Adam San, AKA Gross Guy, AKA Sandino, the great Bambino, came ah, your ah. all the way from Reno. Hua! Well, this week I will be teaching you to make lobster pot pie. It's a little deceiving. There's no pot in it. There's not any weed. There's no marijuana. It's called pot because you you make it in a pot, and not because of pot. Step number one, we're gonna want some bacon over here. Use whatever bacon you like best. This is uh, jalapeno bacon. And we're gonna wanna make a bacon weave. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we are taking some good thick cuts of this bacon and we are going to be making a bacon weave. To do it properly, you need to line up about eight to 10 pieces vertically. And then you're gonna fold every second one and then place the next piece of bacon within the fold. And then unfold the folds. See, look at that, anybody could do it. Even a really big dumbass like my Myself. So we got our bacon weave ready to go into the oven. 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. I wasn't good at math. I was really good at coloring books. All right, so right over here, we are preparing the ingredients for our biscuit pie dough. We're not using conventional pie dough because, well, I don't like ah. pie dough. So we are gonna take our lard and mix it with this white powder. This white powder over here is my favorite white powder there is. It is a mixture of baking powder and flour. It, once the lard and the powders start to feel very crumbly, then it's time to add it to the milk. And milk, for those of you who don't know, is a liquid rich in proteins and vitamins that comes out of animals' teeth. So if you have a mom, there's a good chance at one point there was milk squirting out of her <laughs> It's all in there, it's feeling good, but you wanna complete it until a dough forms. We got our clam chowder right over here. We're gonna add these lobster claws to it. Let's mix the, the lobster into the chowder. We're gonna mix the lobster into the chowder. Anyways, let's take our dough and let's roll it out, but don't roll all of the dough. You're gonna wanna leave a little bit of dough on the side for the top. All right, so over here, you're gonna wanna gently put the pie dough in the pot, just like what I'm doing right now. Be very careful and to make sure your fingers are beautifully manicured like mine are right now. See, I uh, just went to get a manicure. That's why I'm so cute. This is the coolest part of the meal where we're gonna take the bacon weave and put it at the bottom of the crust. So we've got to do this gently. You could use your hands, you could use tongs, you could use anything you want, and you just put it like so. Next up, we're gonna be taking the filling of this delicious meal, which is the clam chowder and the lobster, and we are gonna put it into the pie. Don't put too much at once and try to disperse it evenly. So I just want to ask you guys, who is your favorite fictional lobster? Mine, Pinchy. Homer's pet lobster that he accidentally cooked and ate. So that uh, little extra dough that we saved was for the top. Now let's pop that top and crop it up. Black ops, black tops. Can I eat this? And now we're gonna want to make an X at the top of the pie to make sure the steam comes out and it doesn't crack. Because we don't like crack unless it's real crack. Anyways, now we're gonna put this in the oven for a half an hour at 425 degrees. All right, everybody, we are done. It is out of the oven. It is ready to be cut and eaten. And it looks regular, but it smells ah. delicious. Like, favorite, share. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know how good ah. I am in the comments. Now let's break the lobster pot pie in with a knife. Mmm. Mmm.